Thanks, Bean. What are you doing? Oh, oh, you told me to scrub all the floors in the house with a Barbie toothbrush. My uncle owns a dairy farm in Wisconsin and they have these poop lagoons. They're like 10 feet deep and in winter they freeze over. And my uncle told me and my sister like, don't go skating on those poop lagoons because if you fall in, you'll drown in the poop and come springtime, they'll be nothing left of your body. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I'm what you call a switch hitter. Wait, are you bisexual? Because that's what switch hitter means. It's time for the entree. So I want to speak to the president of Tinder. Your app is broken. I've got zero swipes on my profile. I got the impression that you and I are on the verge of being the next it couple. Yeah. I just don't know what would make you think that. You texted me saying we are on the verge of being the next it couple, Hester. Love chat. See, this is the problem with texting. You know, you, you can't hear the context. Talking boards tend not to hold up in court. Even if it did, there's no jail that can hold her. Last time we sent her to jail, she immediately got bailed out. I mean, yeah, by me, but... How about this? We take all of Chanel's diamonds and we crush them into a powder, and then we have a sugar party where everyone eats bowls of sugar. Except Chanel's bowl isn't filled with sugar. It's powdered diamonds that slice open her esophagus and kill her from the inside. What the hell is a sugar party? Wait, okay, who just sits around eating bowls of sugar? And how do you even crush a diamond? It's like the hardest substance on earth. Shut up, number five. It's a great idea. <sighs> Close your eyes and picture the largest number you can imagine. One million dollars. That's seriously the largest number you can imagine? Three million dollars. Okay, fine. As soon as Chanel number two's parents learned that their daughter's dead body had been found, they went on a cruise to celebrate. That's how much they hated this dead bitch. Why did you use that satanic talking board to tell everyone he cheated on me and that I was the killer? I don't know, I'm sorry. I was probably in a bad mood because Adolf Hitler was motorboating my boobs. I'm next in line and in charge here. And you can sum up my viewpoint on this with one word, indifferent. So when it fell to me to host an open casket funeral and fulfill her dying wish of being cremated and shot into space, I was like, yeah, okay. So stupid. This is what happens to sneaky backstabbers. Just so you know, I took all your clothes. It's too bad you had to die before we found out what ethnicity you are. A totally innocent man who seemed super nice and probably did nothing wrong at all just got blown up in our living room. Bummer. Now, let's honor his memory by moving on. Um, is that my dress? Why are you wearing my clothes? The bigger question is, why are you the same size as a 40-year-old woman? Cut speech in all number two. God, I love working you so much. Go right now. What? Somebody just swiped right on me on Tinder. See, despite what you've heard, hell sucks. It's not fun. Yes, there are water slides, but they're lined with razor blades and you splash down into a pool of boiling pee. Also, zero dinosaurs. There's no dinosaurs? No. As soon as I got there, I was like, where are the dinosaurs? And they were like, we know Jesus broke in and stole them. Ugh. We're gathered here today because a backstabbing little bitch got exactly what was coming to her. Chanel number two literally never had my back. Whenever I wanted to strut across campus or down a long hallway with the other Chanel's, she'd always be like, I am a colonic. When I got to the bar, I realized my stomach was really bothering me. I thought maybe someone had put something in my drink because I was getting mad cramps and I knew it was gonna be trouble. I was past needing to go number two. I needed to go number three. <gasps> but the bathrooms of the White Stallion are freaking disgusting. There was no way I was gonna lay down some pipe in there. So I went back to Kappa House and I destroyed the bathroom upstairs. So, um, I wasn't able to get Led Zeppelin. What? Well, apparently one of them died or something. Damn it, number five. Instead of strutting across campus in a beautiful diamond formation, we were forced to strut across campus in a triad formation like a bunch of hobos. Because number two didn't think she should have to walk behind me. You should go. Hmm. <laughs> Any guy swiping right on you is a miracle. So go. Go meet this blind man. Wait, what about STDs? What if one of us has, like, genital warts or 
Come in here, something. Idiot, you don't get STDs from blood oaths. You get STDs from dirty toilet seats and drinking the water in Mexico. Number five, does your vagina have teeth? It's <laughs> insane. No, it doesn't, Chanel. I thought she wasn't allowed to lie. I'm not lying. <gasps> It was a fake, and I should have known because his Tinder profile picture is the guy from Nickelback cut out of the magazine. You're saying you would have been okay if it was the guy from Nickelback? He's like 60 and Canadian. I lost my virginity to a Nickelback song. Well, Hester, your high school transcripts are clearly faked, and I'm guessing you made up your SAT scores because it's not possible to get one million percent on them now. So they only admitted one person to the ER all night, but it was some dude who needed help getting a Lego figure out of his rectum. What an idiot. It was Chad Radwell. What? The nurse said he told her he usually does his nightly nude yoga before he sets a perimeter of Lego characters to guard his bed while he sleeps, but this time he decided to do it after and accidentally sat on Lego Captain Jack Sparrow. That's the weirdest explanation for anything I've ever heard. Ecology major. So I'm gonna break this down into terms that you'll understand. My ego, it's super strong. Okay, but it's not strong enough that I can just go around dating garbage people. If Dean Munch gets her way, Cap is going to be filled with fatties and ethnics. The fatties will bring their big ol' appetites, and you know what those ethnics will bring with them? Weird spices from their home countries. Why am I Mary Todd Link? God, do I have to spell it out for you? You're out of your friggin' gourd, number five. You're a weird psycho lunatic who's going to end up in an asylum somewhere, staring at a wall, trying to nurse a watering can. You're a Mary Todd Lincoln if ever there was one. That's it! I can't take this anymore! That is such a Mary Todd Lincoln thing to say. See, I, I did, did some research, research down, down at the library. When? Last night. I didn't, I didn't see, see you there. there. Which, Which library? library? Baker Project. Street? Oh, okay. Oh, what? Wait, are, are you saying you killed Hester? Gravity killed Hester. I just gave her a little push. Can I rephrase the question? Does your vagina still have teeth? No, the answer is no! No, it no longer has teeth, so it used to have teeth, but you got them removed? No, I didn't. So your vagina still has teeth. Which one is it, number five? As well as allegations of bestiality. No one forced that goat to get as drunk as it got. That's on him. I started acting like I didn't care, but then I realized I really wasn't pretending, and I actually didn't care. I'm pretty sure I was born without that part of the brain that actually feels stuff. Well, thank you, Chanel number two. I accept your apology. And I'm sorry you got murdered and are dead. And second, look, I'm sorry everybody wants to have sex with me. Okay, I can't help that. The guy I dated here last year got so obsessed with my ears he had to leave school. Now he writes me letters threatening to cut them off if he ever sees them again, which is why I always wear my earmuffs. I understand. If you had all the money in the world, what would you do? i buy sandals. What? I said all the money in the world. Do you not own a pair of sandals? Not sandals, sandals. That party island that's in all the TV commercials. I buy that and then work there as a security guard. Wait, you'd buy an island and then work on it? Settle down, just part time, okay? The rest of the time, I lay- Line up for tonight's festivities. We're going to play a game called cocaine or dildo. Oh, and then I'd order the staff around. I'd be like, hey, Go on the other side of that island and get me a pineapple. Okay, well, it's not my fault that some guy died in the 70s. Excuse me, then whose fault is it? Mine? Love the warty white ones. They look like number five when she runs out of concealer. Okay, well, the good news is I talked to Fergie's agent and she's in. The bad news is, and this is totally on me, but I Googled Fergie's agent and ended up talking to this British guy before I realized his client was actually Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, so... My bad, both Fergies are coming. So stupid. We have to ask her a question only she would know the answer to. Got it. Chanel number two, does Chanel number five's vagina have teeth? You can't ask her that! <gasps> Boone is in here trying to seduce me with the oldest line in the book. He says he's a ghost. No woman's face got fried off in that, right? Wait, hold on. Nobody changed the oil? I doubt it. I think you're a serial killer because I know you number five. You bite your own toenails. Okay, I am flexible. Why would I waste my money buying toenail clippers when God already blessed me with toenail clippers in the form of teeth in my mouth? Okay, I always wear protection. And it's not like I love these chicks. You, you love me? That is not what I said. I'm buying us all matching pink Jeeps. <gasps> Wait, what? Yes, it's gonna be so fun. We can take our matching pink Jeeps on like an African safari or something. How do we know that they're gonna have four identical pink Jeeps? Yeah, and how are we gonna get the Jeeps to Africa? I mean, are we gonna ship them or are we gonna take a fare? I don't know number five, okay? Stop poking holes in the pink Jeep idea, please, and just accept the fact that I'm buying you all pink Jeeps. Take the win, number five. Jeez. This is a hammer. 
Hammers are good for bashing people in the skull and watching them bleed to death, okay? We can be alabilla bitta buddies and do our best to protect each other, but our vaginas may never touch. It's too dangerous. Believe me when I say that if it was possible for me to feel anything, I would totally be crying right now. 